Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. In this episode, we're going to do a montage of all of the Tingle statues from all the dungeons. Now, um, as many of you know, throughout the Let's Play, we have found two just in the course of our adventure. So two of the chests are already going to be visible and open. But uh, the other three we have yet to do, so those you will actually get to see the animation and uh, the description of each item. So without further ado, uh, let's jump into it. Alright, so the first one is in Dragon Roost Cavern. There's this area over here that's like, why would you have to go to that? Because you could just stop swinging and change your angle. It's because there's something here, dude. You got the Dragon Tingle statue. It bubbles over with warmth. It will be waiting for you on Tingle Island. Wheat. All right, cool. Did the skip. Oh, another thing about these, notice my magic meter? Every time you go in these, it refills your magic. So if you ever need like a magic refill, and one of these uh, babas, these deku babas are around, just jump in one and it'll refill your magic. Alright, here we go. You got the Forbidden Tingle statue is covered in sticky sap. It will be waiting for you on Tingle Island. The next one is in the Tower of the Gods. You get up on here. You place a bomb here, and the chest appears. As you can see, we've already found this one, so on to the next. Fourth one is in. Oh, come on. In this room, in the Wind Temple, you jump down, and you put a bomb right here, and it should appear right in between these two things here. Once again, we've already completed this one just as we went on through the temple, so um, on to the next one. Alright, fifth and final one is going to be in the Earth Temple. Close. 
<clears throat> you got the Earth Tingle statue. It's cool and damp and smells like mold. It'll be waiting for you on Tingle Island. Alright, cool. So let's go to Tingle Island. There they are. In all their glory. Look at each one. <laughs> oh man, you must be the long lost brother. Go ahead and oh, take a picture. Mr. Fairy, you found all the Tingu statues. If it wasn't for you, I would never have been able to come back. And oh, thank you. I understand now when you say that this place is the most beautiful place ever. The scenery could make a pictograph you could be proud of. Don't you agree? I do agree, that's why I took a picture of you. I hate that this thing was covering it up though. gone forever. Okay, so he gives us a gift every time we find a Tingle statue. Gotten them all. Please wait a moment, as usual. Okay. You got a reward for getting all five Tingle statues. It's 500 rupees. Lucky you. My big brother saved up everything he got from you, Mr. Fairy. I do not have anything else I can give you. But please play with my big brother again soon. Promise me. Heave ho. I mean, it is quite amusing, the tingle bottle, I mean, but no, really, I would not expect you to. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What, you're not here to play? Bye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me here at Tingle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. Okay. There. Take a picture of all these guys. Alright, you... You. One of you. Did he say anything else? Hey, Mr. Fairy. Hey, Mr. Fairy, you found all the Tingle statues. If it was. Okay, yeah. Hey guys, so there's uh, one more thing I want to show off, and it is an extra item that we can get, and we are going to be wearing this item all the way uh, to the end of the game. So I'm going to head to our home island of Outset, as you can see here, and uh, we're going to be going back to the Savage Labyrinth a uh, second time, so I will see you guys there. Alright, so I do want to show off a little thing here. Um, a lot of times, you know, going through here, you might, you'll do that and you'll be like, why are they giving me all these rupees? Well, for stuff like this, we use our magic armor. We actually don't take damage, we just lose rupees. So, it's actually a good thing that they're giving us rupees because that is essentially more health. Demonstrate. See, I'll get hit here. See, I lost rupees, but my health is still at full.
fire arrows to instantly kill the whiz robe. And this is where we got the Triforce card. But it wasn't the end of the Savage Labyrinth. Oh no. See all these light things. Oh no no no. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh man. I got into the wrong uh, light. But yeah, this light, now that we have the mirror shield. Turn on this guy. And there's more labyrinth. I know. I know that the thing that we all wanted. Here we go. <laughs> He's just like, excuse me? Oh gosh, now he's on fire. Oh my lord. Quit biting my head. You too, don't bite my head. You stopped the master spin, dude? How did you do that? Oh, wait, I'm dumb. You're supposed to stand in this and paralyze them. I, I didn't even notice the light. Uh, here's the jinxes.
these guys can easily take out with a fire arrow. Or, I don't know why I did I. but... How do I get, oh, because I don't have magic. You can also just clip their wings with the boomerang, but fun is that. I think it's funny that they only designed the magic armor to work for um, the Link <laughs> in the normal version. So if you notice, you do see his cap, <laughs> even though he's not wearing a cap right now. gonna be then who you're dealing with here yeah I can move backwards though you can jinx me all you want I know what I'm doing This is the annoying one, especially since I don't have... Anything that can beat these guys, as far as I know. Unjinx me so I can use my flip shot. Aha. Uh -huh. Nope. Oh no 
no, no, no. You can probably also use a light. I guess I wasn't thinking about that. He's got a pain in the butt, I'll tell you right now. It only gives you rupees, like, it's like they know, you know, like you should, like you should be getting at this point in the Savage Labyrinth, you should already have the magic, and oh my gosh, look at all these mini blooms. I also wanted to point out, you notice... Oh, I gotta have full health, hang on. Since we have the full Master Sword, you see it's glowing? Look at that. You get that nice purple... Purple sheen off of that. Looking good. Alright, looks like it's going to be Wiz Ropes. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Do this. Oh, I was wrong. It was not, it was not the Wiz Ropes. Oh my gosh, get me out of this. Oh wait, what am I doing? Here, get me out of here. this. <laughs> Bring him on! <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my lord. Bianca Messaging me while I'm trying to afford Oh no, where's the light? That They didn't even give me a light This is like one of the hard ones I don't like it <laughs> These guys look so cool. Another hard one for obvious reasons. Blow yourself up. Do it. Actually, it's it's an easy one for the same reason that it's hard, <laughs> because they like blow themselves up a lot of the time.
but you also get blown up. Cool. What, what is that? Oh, dude, look at this. Isn't that cool? They're like blowing fire at me. Oh, so awesome. These guys will uh, attack each other if you like can get them to. It's really funny. Gonna like, take off their armor though. Yay! Alright, you guys ready? Gonna be sick. Warning you. You got the hero's charm. This mystical trinket gives you the ability to see the life forces of your foes. Touch its icon on the item screen to equip it. And we're gonna wear this for the entire rest of the game. Heck yeah. Something that I really like. I don't know if I can show this off effectively. I'm gonna try and like move my webcam to okay. So here's the item screen. If you touch this, the eyes light up. Isn't that cool? Alright, well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, found all the tingle statues, and I hope you um, enjoyed finding the Hero's Charm. We're going to wear this as we go and face Ganon. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.